everybody welcome back to disturbing creations and i'm so excited today i just got the last piece for the wrap bmw so i ordered these pieces that went right here but the wrong piece came in they didn't fit and i kind of got screwed over so i had to keep them but i finally forked out some money and got the right ones now these are actually the bmw ones and they were a hundred bucks for two of them and let's see what we got like it's gonna fit perfect see it's larger on this side and smaller here the other one I had was the same size cut all the way so it's for a different model than mine oh uh, these are gonna be great so you know what we're doing tonight right we are wrapping these trim pieces blue to match under the light right here and the whole car is gonna be done Okay, so these are the mocked up pieces. So it'll look more like this, solid here. So I think I'm going, I was gonna paint them, or um, I was gonna wrap them the carbon fiber here to make it look like it comes from the hood, <clears throat> but it goes all the way around into the fender here. And I don't think that would look good. We have a lot of carbon fiber on the car already going down the trim line and on the hood itself. So I think tonight we're gonna wrap these with just this blue. I have a couple of pieces of scrap left that I saved. And then once I put them in, I think it's really gonna make the light pop with the blue. So let's take these in. Um, we're gonna get them all prepped, wipe them down with some isopropyl alcohol. And then we're gonna go ahead and get them on the table, uh, warm them up inside a little bit so the wrap is warm and let's go wrap these pieces. All right, so now I got the piece of trim in the house and I'm just gonna go ahead and wrap it. And I'm gonna wrap it in fast time uh, and just maybe talk some, some uh, a little bit through it. Like when we get to this um, section right here where I have to heat it and push it down so I can show you how to bend it around. I'm not really too worried about the bottom, I'm gonna cut all the way over but not wrap in I'll probably cut it right around here because it's underneath and I only need about a quarter of an inch but I'll probably take it all the way down to where the cut is here and then we only need to go into this but I'm gonna bend down and then bring it up that way when uh, the light goes over this if you can see through a little bit or the uh, the piece you know what I mean? It's like two body panels, so you don't want to cut it right here, and then you can look down through, and like you'll see the gray. I need more on the top. I didn't I didn't have enough. So the top is is the piece that I'm worried about. I need more meat on the top to flip over because the light is here and the trim is here and you can see down and that is the the top piece. So I just kind of, just kind of got it on there. I don't like right here, but I bent, I bent it a little bit. Just gonna. Magic erase it. <laughs> so. I'm just gonna. Uh, so we're starting to get a pinch right here. So we'll just release it, pull it straight again. So I held it with this finger and this finger and I tried to like, you know, these two 
and these two, but my hands are kind of messed up from surgeries. So instead of just pulling it this way, it'll make long wrinkles. If you spread it and pull it, it'll go flat. All right. So we're all the way to the end. We're at the top, we got the top end.
So the front's all nice, looks great, right? And then the uh, the top looks, it's all sealed, looks good. So just because you made it this far, I got a little joke for you. All right, so now that you know that we've got our last piece of the BMW, let's go ahead and see what it looks like on. So I just wrapped one in front of you, but I've already done one and installed it into the car so you can see the difference. Now I know the hood isn't all the way down so that I could pick it up kind of easier, but you see how the piece is missing right here would be this piece. And this is how it looks like already installed. Now I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to install this piece because there's a lot of different clips on here. Five clips. And if you bend any of these, this is not gonna fit. And two of these cost me $110. So I'm not gonna break this, putting it on or taking it off. So let's get a closer look and go ahead and install this last piece. So the first thing I do when I put these on is I kinda line it up where it needs to be. So you can see that these go into, this will slide into this box. This clip will slide into this piece right here. These two slide under, and then this clip has to slide into another box on this side. Now, once I get it in, I'm gonna show you what it looks like on the inside over here so you never mess this clip up. Now, there are little protrusions that come out from the top, so if you don't line this up completely on the first time, you're gonna have to take it off. It's just not gonna work. I try to get it to where I think it is going to be, and then I'm gonna pop this side in, so I'm gonna push it in a little bit and get that piece of metal right there that's split in between. And then I'm just gonna pop it in. And that's all it was. You heard it click in, and now there's nothing there, it's pinched. Now I'm still holding it with this side of my hand because we're gonna move to this side. Now, when I first did this and I popped it all in, I noticed that I was under the protrusion on this side, one of these, because I didn't hold it correctly and I had to pop it all the way off. Every time you take this off and put it back on, you're taking a chance of breaking it. So let's do it the first time correct. So we're gonna hold it up into place. See how I pushed it back up in there? I pushed it back up into place. And then we're gonna come more on this side. We're gonna look for where the clip is. So the clip box is right here. I actually like to hold the clip in my finger and pull it out, kind of line it up where it's inside, but I don't clip it all the way in yet. Let's get a real close up of what I'm talking about here. So I lined it up in there, but you see the little piece? I haven't clipped it in yet. So I just kind of hold it there with one hand. Then I'll line everything up, make sure everything's pushed in with the other, hold it, and then just pop it in. So there it is. Here's the piece. And here's the other one, exact same way. You see the clip went in and then just locked right in place. Now let's get a far view look at it. I think it is looking pretty good. Wow, it really looks nice. Let's put the hood down and get a look of it all together. All right, there she is, finally done. The disturbing BMW. How does it look? Oh, it looks so much different with the last piece in. So I really like the light blue light with the blue on the bottom. We did a vote online to see if you wanted to do the ca um, carbon fiber to wrap around or to bring this blue in. And I really like that the people voted on the blue. Really gives the car a great accent and mixes in great. Really helps out the car a lot. So now that we've got this last piece in, I think we're gonna have to go ahead and do another video and take this thing out for a little joy ride and get some nice pictures in it. So if you like this kind of stuff, leave us a like, subscribe. After this project, we're doing this one purple and we're doing that one way back there. The one with the green headlights green. So we got two more cars to wrap in our shop immediately. 
So take the journey with us.